Good morning, YouTubers. To all my subscribers, or good day again. All right, this is part four. We're going to run ESIS. I'm going to see if we can program a user for him and write a coding file to it. Okay, let us proceed. All right, then. So. We're going to go here. I'm going to highlight this as free. I'm going to reserve. I'm going to go here again. Connection monitor. All right, this is connect. Can establish no problem with read that. All right, and then you go here, read VCM. I'm going to go to expert mode, I'm going to go to VCM. One master tab, I'll take a read I steps. I step is 2011 03 11 11 03 11. I'm gonna go encoding. I'm gonna read the vehicle order. And we're gonna read VCM. KMP flash, we're gonna go here. Eleven oh three five eleven. That was it. All right. Let me go back here and check. Yeah, eleven oh three five eleven eleven F ten F F ten eleven zero three five eleven. Uh oh, sorry. Eleven zero three five eleven. All right. We're going to populate this folder here. I'll go down to the C drive. And then we're gonna populate this. Oh, that's our NCD. Oh, back up. All right, cool. All right, we are going to go. I want to make sure I'm in the right folder here. This is the bin number of the car we're working on. Let's see. We're going to CAF the NCD file. We're gonna right click here, recoding data. And this folder right here should be populated. There they are. All right, these are the all uh, is the, S, the NCD for the readout of the module. We're gonna look for the one concerning the FRM. We're gonna go down here and um, let's scroll down, go all the way up. Look for FRM. See that? Oh. All the files are not being read out. You see that? The FRM is not there. I don't see any FRM. Yeah, it's not there, man. Damn. All right. Oh, I want to save this. All right, we close that. We want to look for the scroll on for the um the 
the forum, where are you? Oh, here's it on other 72. There's no coding file here. So what we do, we just click right here. I like that model. Click this text CAFD for software unity. And then we scroll down to the bottom where we choose this one here. It has an eye level of, um, well, I don't know. All right, let us see if I can write this one to it. 119501, 112011, blah, blah, blah. All right, let us choose it one. All right, let us scroll back down and look for it again. All right, this is what we do, a coding file injection in the model. So we do know, right click on that. Then we click code. All right, so we are injecting a CFD in that I don't know if it's gonna be successful, so let us wait and see. If it be successful, we are lucky, you know what I mean? Hello? Hello? Where are I? He's not responding to me. It's not finished yet. It's writing, writing, writing. And this long one, this, this takes a very long time. Shit. What if it failed? Oh, damn, it's finished. Oh, well, let us copy it. Let us copy this and just paste it over to, uh-oh, let us go back here to, um, let's go back here to this, but daddy here, let's see if we can um, create a text file. Oh, here's a text right here. Um, let this one open, create that and so on and so forth. All right. So we save this as FRM. Coded successfully. Easy tell logs. All right, so that's what I call that. So hopefully, all right, we're gonna close this right here, and um, we're gonna close that. All right, it says zero, zero errors. Okay, code without zero, code without errors. All right, this is the file for it here. This file ID is twelve F. CD deploy and the main version is 11, 6 and that will patch version right there. Right, we're going to read out uh, VCM to see if the coding file showed up in the FRM right there. That red file should turn to the color black. And there it goes. Here's it. Boom. All right. Cool. All right, so we scroll down and look for any other coding. Look, we're going to look for what coding file is, is, is not there, not a control module. It's only the EGS right now is not responding. That's our problem right now. All right, everything seems to be okay. With the other models, coding files are there. This FR, we just did it. There it goes in black. And there's a coding file. Boom. Very good. Um, All right, let us go to, um, and we're gonna read out, we're gonna go back down and I wanna see if we find the FRM here. Here's the FRM, you can see that. There's no coding file here, but when I click to refresh it, read VCM, it's gonna come up back with the CFD. And here's it, an address 72 FRM, CFD now showed up. There it goes. The injection was successful. All right, no big deal, man. Um, let us create a, let us calculate. Um, we're gonna go back and find a 1103, uh, is it? Yeah. 
Eleven zero three five eleven. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, eleven zero three five eleven. Let's make sure. Yeah, eleven zero three five eleven. Go over here. We're gonna calculate a tile for this and wait. Let us see what comes up in red. Like I said. Oh, the cast model want to be updated the code file. All right. Let me see if I can write update a code file here in the cast model. Let me go down here and let me see what else is in red. Aegis is in red. And that one is FKA. Oh, the FRM. I did write a coding file to it, man. Software flash. I could try to write a software flash over that. Um. Yeah, bro. What up? Morning. Yeah, yeah, we got this guy again. Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, man. Um. All right. We I coded the FRM. I write a coding file to it, so it should allow the lights to work and initial it successfully. Oh, fucking team. Connect again. No, I'm reconnecting on my side. Relax. Oh, I see the light came on. Light came on now? Yeah, write a coding file to it. Only as a software flash file needs to be into it. Just one. Yeah, the headlights makes a lot of the engine light came, parking light came on. Oh, the parking light. Okay, but the LED lights are not on. Try the LED lights now. Just turn on the just turn the light switch on to see if the LED lights come on along with the parking um with the parking light. Nah. Oh no, okay, no problem, no big deal. Alright, cool. Alrighty then, alrighty then. Um I'm gonna try to do a I'm gonna write I'm gonna try to load that tile here. And I'm going to load a solve for um that check bin. All right, I'm going to uncheck all. I'm going to look for the FRM here, it right here. All right, I'm going to write one file at a time to it. Let me see if it's going to accept it. If it's rejected, reject it. I'm writing the bootloader flash to it. Let me see if it will be successful. Oh, it failed miserably. See that? Alright, FRM will load a flash fail. Protein control, erase memory, indicate erase in description error, negative response error. Wow. This one failed. Ooh. Maybe I waste of time to code it. Let me see if I can code it. 
Um, I decoded. Let me go back and read it over. Let me see if the coding is still there or if it's gone. Let me see if it comes back up or down. All right, the bootloader is still there, but it's in blue. Coding file is there, but it's in blue. It's one updated. All right, FRM, it need probably a new one. Yeah, hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably need a new one and so on, but I still, I'm going to troubleshoot. The, the EGS is in black. It shows that all the files in black. It appears that the EGS is communicating on in the ECC. You see that? It's not in red. Yeah. But if I calculate SOL, if I calculate SOL, it's going to be in red. So let us wait and see. All right, so that's been calculated. All right, I'm gonna write a coding file. I'm gonna update this coding file to the CAS unit. Let me go back here. All right, let me check if the FRM is, if the EGS is still red, I guess so. Oh, the EGS is black, you see that? Yeah. Oh, well, it's weird. Okay, it should be in red because once I calculate SOL, it should be in, in red, you know what I mean? It should be in red like uh let me see which model we have in red before oh look at this fk is in black you see that yeah like they're communicating now oh what the hell it's surprising to me because i thought they would be in red after you calculate so don't it yeah oh the seat module look the seat module is in black you see that yeah. Like ECS is communicating with them right now, bro. I mean, damn, this is good. All right, let me go here. Let me let me let me log on to this. Let me see if I can read out now the car and let me see what we have. Oh, I don't want to do that yet. Let me let me code the cast first. Let me update the coding file in the cast before I connect. Let me um. Let me write the coding file to the cast unit before I actually um. Tile processing. Let me see if I can find the cast unit here. Ah. Let me see if I can find the cast. The cast is not in this uh, list right here. See that? Okay. So what I have to do, I have to go back here. Tile calculating. And then we, um, we should save. We had said the actual installation table for uh let's just save this let me overwrite these with this let me go here and um save this um cell again let me go down to um calculate tile let me overwrite the old tile with this one or oh, this one um yeah all right um it should show up now the cast in that tile it should be able to show that up so all right let's reload the model reload all right here's the cast you see that yeah all right it shows that these models now are communicating i mean not necessarily i don't know meaning hardware installed meaning that the model is probably not communicating because once you see order installed in ECC, it means that the model might still not be communicating. You see that? It's not supposed to be there. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All these seat model, driver, passenger, FE, uh, FRM. The FRM need to be, um, I already did that. So this is the CAS unit here. Uh, amplifier responding. Right, we're going to we're gonna write the coding to the CAS. Let's just see if it's done successfully now. It should. Uh, if it's the original cast that came with the car, it should uh, give us no, no real problems. Oh, finish with error? Wicked. That was quick. Oh, 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 oh sorry. It's, uh... There's no code in the cast unit. I did not clear the log for the um the FRM bootloader flash. I did not clear the log, so that is why I think it was giving me that. 
Uh, oh, finish. Oh, green bar. Okay. All right. So updating VCM. Let's just wait. Five billion. Wait. in the VCM. All right, finished. All right, let's just click that. Save. All right, I wanna save that log. All right, we're gonna remove out this. We're gonna remove out the um. All right, we can leave that FRM. We can leave it. Leave it easy. No problem. All right, no big deal. We're gonna clear log both of them and uncheck that. All right, they go back here to comfort mode and do it here. Uh, we're gonna go up and find the CAS unit. Yeah. All right, here's CAS here. We're gonna now read out VCM. Let us see if it comes back with black CASD file. All right, there goes the CAS encoded with that. No big deal. Um, that is in red. The fire is in red. He just still in red. All right. All right. FK is in red. Okay. Cool. All right. That's normal. I expect that three. All right. Four, five. Five model, right? Three. Yeah. Three. Four. Five. Five, six model not responding. All right, I'll check out. Yeah, I so don't worry about that. Oh, don't worry about that. All right, no big deal, buddy. All right, no big deal. All right, we can um, we can disconnect from this. Release that. Release, please. All right, there it goes. We can actually disconnect from this, and we can minimize that. We can now pull up his D. Oh gosh, the company, the um, the thing is moving slow. You need more memory, man. <laughs> Laptop need about sixteen gigabytes of random access memory. All right, sorry. This is the one I want. That says green. This is the one that I shall show the voltage. All right, here goes the voltage on KL30, KL15. Oh, you set up the connection. Let me see how you do it because it shows me both ENET at the same time as well as um, the ICOM. You know what I mean? Because I would like to have one of those interface from the Chinese guys. I want to see if I can have both of them that shows ENET and also ICOM at the same time. Okay, because it shows that one can work with ESIS and you can flash EDU in it with the other one and, and so on. You like, it seems seem like they set up the interface which it have an ENET capability to flash the um, the EDU unit, the NBT, and also the amplifier that is on the mouse bus. So just make turn your phone horizontal make a wide field of view video just make a one and a half or two minute video about how the set of the connection to the obd all the way to the interface to the laptop let me see how they how they have it already let me see what it looks like because i want to really buy one of those things okay just do it now i'm going to use a bathroom what i'm going to use a bathroom so let's go make okay. a video okay. of I what yeah remember turn the phone sideways not or not vertical okay make it Okay, YouTubers, we have 111 followers remaining. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're back. All right, we are going to um. All right, I saw the video. What do you have the Enet cable connected to it at the same time? No, 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 that's separate. It was, it was not the same. All right, transport mode has now been active in the JBE. Airbag SDL. We're gonna delete this transport mode. No big deal. And um, all right, we're gonna delete this transfer mode shit. Um, hopefully we can.
Alright, we're gonna do your transport mode. Calculate test plan. Because we coded the CAS unit and the FRM, the transport, no, um, I think we coded the, um, the CAS unit is the reason why the transport mode is being switched on in several different control models. Yeah, so it's a safety feature. Transport mode meaning that when the car is leaving the factory, they just enable transport mode so that the vehicle cannot be started by accident while it's on the truck and run out the trailer or something. So when the car is to be delivered to the customer, they delete transport mode at the dealership and hand the car over to the customer. So usually when you program um, import and control units like CAS units or FEM, transport mode might be become active. So, okay, let us see if we can go here and um, uh, let us see the EMF speed signal. Uh, speed signal usually come from the, um, the rear wheel or the front wheel sensor, so the ABS, but once the EMF doesn't see, the EMF collect this signal from the DSC control model. It will come up with this fault code right here. All right, it said all effect sensor and line fault. All right, we have to check that one out. All right, so a lot of shit is pulled up on the car, man. Um, we're going to system check, eat in air condition system check. Oh, system check is this one for telecom telecoms box. Oh, e mirror all effect sensor line fault. Um, this could be the EML, the parking brake, um, control model control unit internal fault. You didn't, oh. Oh, sorry, that's not it. The, the control unit internal fault is referring to the instrument cluster right here. Internal fault. Did you replace the cluster? No. Oh, you didn't. All right, there's an internal fault here, and there's also um, steering column switch left. Column switch left. All right, that is a problem there. Front to it. ICM control unit internal. All right, no big deal. We're going to delete the transfer mode. FRM coding, so there's no coding here, and there's also a transfer mode that is inside of the, um, I don't know, gateway, I don't know. I will remove that. Um, all right, let us go ahead and delete. Uh, we're going to do transport mode in our control models. Boop. Car connector. All right, that is the interface we're using right now on the BMW F4. F4 2 is DX Diag. That seems to work okay. We use um, ESIS to use that to code control models and so on. And um, I know that failed to flash the boot loader. Connector the OBD right there. All right, very good. It's clear to flash the bootloader and write software flash file on the, um, it fails to do all of that, but I don't know if it's because we don't have the icon marker. Transport mode could not be successfully deleted from all control models. All right, cool. That's failed from all control models. All right, then. All right, start end service function. We're not going to start free delivery check. Leave that alone. All right, we're gonna go back here and we're gonna see if we can delete now the fault memory and let us see what will happen. Okay, man. 
Alright, he just still on other safety he still um alright so go back again to four codes I'm gonna go back up to um I'm gonna look all right, I'm gonna do this. Um, roof will go service function here, and I have to do this as well. Tap rear camera. I'm gonna go here. SSD service function. Come on, switch body. Voltage safety function. Little lights. Blah blah blah. Locking. All right, win. Locking and security function. All right, here's it. All right, just see if it will normalize. All right, the is the bonnet, the hood closed. The tailgate and the hood, is it closed? The trunk is open. Because the battery is connected. All right, no problem. All right, let me see if I can run this without... Um... Okay, can I get in the front? No, just wait, wait. Let me see if it goes through successfully. Wait, okay? It is standardizing the... Um, the, the... Yep, the roof is open. Yes, moving. All right, let us wait and see if it do it successfully. We do not have to close the rear. Or thirty seconds to take. All right, it does it successfully. There it goes. End service function now. Mm. All right, so the roof will be normalized. All right, let us go back to um, driver assistance here. All right, vision camera. Let us see what they have here. This is KFAS calibration. I wonder if I did this. Um, I did. I did. Lane departure warning. Let me look if the control unit is green. SWW sensor system. Oh yes, this one is green. There's no fault code for that. It's only this has to be taught in this one. I did that before, but somehow it failed. And um, the KFAS is in green. That doesn't need that. That one and this one have no fall code. Uh, this one has to be taught in speaker management and um, our own vision camera. Let's go back again to this and let us see if it failed or if it goes through. We're going to say this is going to take about five minutes. All right, all cameras inside the vehicle were successfully taught in. All right, cool. All right, um, no, I chose yes before, but it says, it says this all run vision camera has the old integration level. Has a software update already been carried out? No. All right, cool. He said manual calibration with the target is then no longer necessary. Reprogramming code following control unit. Okay, cool. manual calibration with the target. Manual calibration, really? Um, 
the our own vision camera still has the whole software status and requires reprogramming. After reprogramming, the our own vision camera will automatically calibrate itself while driving. All right, no problem. Okay, cool. Go back to fall code list and look again. Let us go up the ladder and see. Um, Module not transmitting, that's cool. We have to replace the, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, you said you had to replace the driver and the passenger seat module, right? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, DGM central fault memory pool, no control unit fault. All right, knee airbag resistance too low. All right, that could be a open wire. Um, Short circuit to positive old foot. Let me let me let me see if I can calculate the test plan here going forward. All right, this will be end of part what part part four. we're going to do um, which one you want us to look at first <laughs> which one the EGS right yeah the time is if it works it's fine <laughs> that's what I'm worried about more <laughs> alright let me see what this file code come up for the central gateway first and let me go forward and wait okay DGM central for I said supply voltage between 9 and 16 volts. Test analysis diagnosis rate inside is the diagnosis terminal status are that blah blah blah. blah. Alright, possible process of false toward driver warning light none. This is not a controlling fault. The central memory was automatically deleted after the start of the diagnosis procedure. Service instruction. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright. Work through the fault stored in the vehicle and then delete the fault memories. The central fault memory has already been deleted. Okay, cool. Control unit DJ is okay. All right, cool. Let us um, end, in, end this module. All right, let's go back here and delete those fault codes and let us see what remains behind. Okay, we have 49 fault codes left. Display fault memory. Let's go on software update. A fault occur. All right, let me see. Please wait. The camera drop is still in progress. All right, a fault occurred. I wonder why. <laughs> I boy, I want to try the boy. I'm sure that thing are good. <laughs> All right, let me let me let me let me go take a look at where you located it. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, the reason why it doesn't calculate the measure plan because there's an, an, a data folder it's supposed to be here. This is five. It's supposed to be six. You see that? 
Yeah, there's a special data folder that's supposed to be there, but it's not there. All right, you need to get the system from me, bro, because they did not set up your system the correct way, 100%. You know what I mean? Okay. There's a data folder that's supposed to be. There's supposed to be six folder right here in this directory that says PSDZ. Okay? This is the service data package. These are the, the, these are the PSDZ data for um, all the... Um, this is the files that is written to the control modules. These are they right here. All right, and um, they're supposed to have a data folder here, but somehow it's not there. It's not there. So that's the reason why it failed to calculate measure plan. You understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's why it failed to calculate measure plan. I guess you have to, all right, to get my system, you're going to need to have more space on the hard drive, you know? Okay, yeah. I got it. Okay, what is the specs on it? I got it home. I got to take it out. All right, no problem. All right, no problem, buddy. All right, we're going to end this session here. I think this is part four. So we're going to end it. And then we continue. Well, what are you going to do, man? You have money to buy the software. It's, it's, it's expensive enough. <laughs> Right, let me end this session here on the video that I made and then we talk. Just stay on the line, okay? Okay. Okay, uh, YouTubers, we end part four. So far, we coded several control models that was replaced. This coding file was written to it. And this CFD file is there. And this. And this. And, well, this one. And um, we did... Also, we write to this, we update this with coding file and this one. And we did this. And we up, we write the coding file for the CAS unit, we update that. And we did the yeah, FRM coding file, right? We updated the FZD as well. And um, we, do a, we do our initialization here of the sunroof. And we also write filing to the JBE and the part distance control. Our only issue right now is EJS here on address 18. We're going to solve this in part 5. Okay. So thank you, YouTubers, for viewing my video. And uh, thank you for subscribing to BMW Programming and Encoding Channel. With this, I say I am out.